Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling here. Hope everybody's having a good day out there. And today's video, I'm gonna give you guys some tips and advice that you may or may, may or may not need on how to pack your boat with food for the day fishing. I think this is one aspect about fishing that gets overlooked. Uh, what you put in your body and how you treat your body has a lot to do with how you can perform during the day. And it's just another aspect that will help you have a more enjoyable day on the water and help you catch more fish. So I'm gonna go through you know, some of the things that I pack in the boat and sort of tell you why and uh, maybe you know, help you guys uh, you know, catch a few more fish and feel a little better in the boat along the way. Okay, um, I think one of the things you know, that I've noticed a lot, I, I mean, I fished with thousands and thousands of different people. I mean, uh, throughout the course of my career, you know, I fished well over 500 national tournaments, you know, fun fishing with people, you know, all that type of stuff. So I've been in the boat with a lot of people and I've got to, and everybody brings food with them in the boat, you know, during the course of a day. So then I've got to, you know, watch and observe what people eat. And guys, for the most part, people have pretty crappy diets for the most part, just to be honest with you guys. I think a lot of it, it's a combination that they maybe don't pay much attention to it. They don't think it's that important. It could be how they were raised, whatever. But uh, overall, I, I don't see a lot of awareness put into people's diets when they're when they're on the water in general. So I sort of want to get, go across what you know what has been working good for me. Uh, you know what makes me feel better. I don't claim to be a diet dietitian expert, but I know I've studied a lot on it. I've read a lot on it. I've paid a lot of attention, and I've got some stuff here to go over a little bit. So let's go through what I've, I've packed in the boat with me. Now, this varies to some extent, but most of the time, this is what I, I got with me. The first thing and the most important, <coughs> excuse me guys, is water. I usually carry, well, I, not usually, always, I, just, I don't have a gallon here, but I always carry a gallon jug of water in the boat with me. And I do not put it in the cooler. I put it underneath the console. I want it to stay the same temperature as the air temperature. I don't want to have to mess with getting ice in the morning. All you guys out there that pack sugary drinks, Gatorade, all this type of stuff, you don't need it. All you need is water in your boat. Water's better for you, hydrates you. If you carry a gallon in the boat, it encourages you to drink more. So water is the number one thing important to me. Next thing I, I carry is the uh, is beef jerky. Um, guys, if you, you guys know I'm, you know, partnered with and sponsored by Bridge for Beef Jerky. If you guys haven't tried the Bridge for Beef Jerky, it's freaking awesome. It's the most awesome company in the world, man. All American made, the American made beef, all the production, all the creation of the jerky packages here in the United States. You know, they provide components for Army MREs for the United States. Just an awesome company that supports bass fishing. So I always carry some beef jerky in the boat with me. It's a good lean source of protein. It keeps in all different type of weather conditions. Um, and it's just, a, it's a great energy source. Next thing I always pack with me is either a, a can of tuna or a can of sardines. I find that, you know, this is really convenient. You can use it and eat it in all different weather conditions. Um, about half and half, half the time I'll use tuna, half the time I eat sardines. Again, it's a good source of protein and healthy fats for you. Um, always have some type of food. It's usually an apple or bananas in the boat. You know, I, most of the time I carry two apples or a couple of bananas eat during the course of the day. And then um, I do make some sandwiches once in a while. One of the things with sandwiches, I always use like a real whole grain, grainy bread. You know, all you guys out there using white bread, there's zero dietary advantage for you guys to eat white bread. If you're gonna eat bread, eat some type of healthy whole grain organic bread. That's definitely gonna help out a lot. And then I'll put usually some peanut butter on it. I used to use almond butter all the time, but almond, almond butter started giving me heartburn. So I use some type of, uh, you know, just low, low fat uh, peanut butter. Again, a good source for, you know, natural fat and protein out there. The main thing that you wanna try to stay away if, if possible is just try to stay away from the, the processed fatty type foods and sugars. I mean. I, guys, you wouldn't believe some of the stuff I see guys carry. I, there was this one dude out there. It's like, I was, remember I was fishing a tournament at the Potomac River. And the only thing he packed with him, he bought, he brought one bottle. Of, this was during like early summer, so it was pretty hot. He brought one bottle of Mountain Dew. He brought three cans of Vienna sausages, with which is just, 
you know, pig ears and, and butts and everything in it. No, there's, it's like, it's like dog food basically. And smoked like three packs of cigarettes. So I'm like, I'm wondering how this dude is even alive putting that crap in his body. So one of the things that you will find is you've got to discipline yourself to eat right. And it's just like working out or it's anything like that. It, it requires discipline and that discipline it's very difficult to discipline yourself if you don't have people around you that encourage you to do the same thing. So um, I feel for you guys out there that don't maybe have people that encourage you to eat right, or maybe you didn't, you weren't brought up in an environment that encouraged that. But I'm just offering you guys some some hard earned good advice here. If you guys don't have a good diet, do some research and change your diet. Your diet will make you feel better it'll make you look better it'll make you perform better it'll make you fish better it, it's just better for you all the way around so um that's anyway that's what i take in the boat with me give or take one of the things i do like to use also is with that bread is i'll take some bananas and i'll slice them up and i'll put some peanut butter on on the bananas uh, maybe a little bit of grape jam or something like that and that's a that's a real good uh, snack on the boat too but main thing you just want something that doesn't that you don't want the stuff in there that you can't eat under different weather conditions. Um, and you also want something that's fairly quick. So main thing guys is do not slack on the water. Get you a gallon jug. Everybody that's ever fished a tournament with me, if you, if you've drawn me as a co-angler over the past 30 years, you can attest. I do carry a gallon of uh, water in the boat with me all the time and drink it. So that's uh, just a little bit of advice that I wanted to give you guys there. So thanks again for tuning in. We'll talk to you guys later.